High up on the moors, the wildfire specialists from West Yorkshire Fire Service are on high alert. Increasingly hot, dry weather has created the perfect conditions for fires up here, and the way they deal with them has had to evolve. They now use these off-road vehicles that can reach fires regular engines can't in terrain like this. Location is massive uh, up here because you, you've no water, so we've only got a limited amount of water, so we have to have water to deal with the fire, but then we've also got to have a backup plan. And it doesn't take much to start a fire. The message to the public is just, you know, be very mindful and careful of what you're doing in this beautiful countryside. We are on top of the moor now and the wind is blustery. This grass is very, very dry. And it wasn't that long ago that a fire swept up the hillside over there and came perilously close to this transmitter, which would have wiped out communications across a huge area. It's another illustration of how these wildfires are potentially affecting people way beyond just the countryside. The fires on the moors this summer have spread to areas not usually affected. And fires like this in a cornfield, once rare, have also become more common. For the fire service, the causes and the need to change is unmistakable. We've seen the effects of climate change developing, but what we've just seen is radically different, a completely different end of a continuum. And if that's a peep into the future, then I think we've got to go back and we've got to look at everything we've done to date and just reassess about whether that's what we need going forward or whether we need to do even more. And I think that applies to society as well. The landscape is changing. The level in a reservoir here has sunk so low, an ancient village is visible for the first time in 70 years. It's been a quiet couple of days for the wildfire team, but with more people out on a hot weekend, they know that's unlikely to last. Greg Milam, Sky News, West Yorkshire.